In a stunning development, India decided to extend a $1 billion line of credit to Russia, which will help the Russians in the development of the Far East. It is worth mentioning that India has 279 LOCs, which are worth $28 billion, across 63 nations in Africa, Asia, Latin America, the Caribbean and Oceania. India didn't heed the American sanctions on Russia and interestingly, the country has also gone ahead with its purchase of the Russian-made S-400 surface-to-air missile systems, despite some American resistance. People-to-people -people relations hold special importance in the bilateral relations of the two countries. A 2014 survey revealed that 85% of Russians have a positive view of India, with only 9% viewing India negatively. For Russians, India is among the top five friendly nations. India also considers Russia as its long-standing and time-tested partner. India recognizes its relationship with Russia as a special and privileged strategic partnership. The partnership is centered around six major components – politics, economics, space, defense, civil nuclear energy and anti-terrorism cooperation. Indian investments in Russia are estimated to be about $13 billion and Russian investments in India total about $16 billion. In Russian oil and gas fields alone, Indian firms have invested more than $7 billion. The India-Russia friendship is being closely watched by China, a nation that is highly insecure about any movement in the South China Sea. China thinks that India is challenging its influence in that region by its outreach to Russia and other regional powers. India has indeed signed a Memorandum of Understanding with Russia in which a new Indo-Pacific Sea Route has been opened. It connects Russia's Vladivostok to India's Chennai. The new maritime route is expected to go through the hotly contested waters in the South China Sea. India's multinational oil and gas company ONGC Videsh has its presence in the contested waters of the South China Sea, where it is exploring a Vietnamese oil block. Vietnam wants the Indian firm to stay, and ONGC Videsh is in no mood to leave either. It should be noted that OVL arrived in Vietnam in 1988. Is it India's answer to what China is doing in the POK? See you again.